the back. And Isco is the beneficiary from the absence of Bale. Well, with Ronaldo and Isco tucking infield to support Benzema, fullbacks Carvajal and Marcelo will be key to Real's attacking game plan. Ronaldo being the main threat when crosses come into the box and the main. Atletico without their regular right back Juan Fran, the versatile Jimenez also unavailable. So the French defender Lucas Hernandez comes into a reshuffled back line. Midfielder Saul scored the crucial away goal at Leicester in the second leg of their quarter final. Antoine Griezmann. May be tempted away in the summer, but he's still the main danger to Real Madrid tonight. Well, Atletico will be 3-0. It was a 1-1 draw here only last month. And away we go in the first leg of the semi-final. Here's Modric, Danny Carvajal. Very nicely worked, Carvajal is in. And it came out to Benzema, couldn't do anything with it. And player has indeed Zidane. And the other dugout was, here's Danny Carvajal, Sergio Ramos, to plant it in. Casemiro, and in the end, who gets on to tuck it in? It's Cristiano Ronaldo. Somehow, like a magnet, the ball goes to him. A miss hit, but he's turned it into the opening goal of this All-Madrid Champions League semi-final. Well, they had a lot of players back in there, Atletico Madrid. But again, the player that anticipates, is aware of the situation, gets in front of his marker. It's Ronaldo. Plenty of early set pieces for Tony Kroos. Well, only a fine save by... Ronaldo going up, but it's Varane that gets the header in. Creative uh, senses, but they might do now. But Navas did very well because he got to the ball when there was a rip. Less open, and this could easily have been 1 1 for Kevin Gamero. Just got to take his touch, that little bit square of it. Pushed out by Oblak. Modric trying to get into a shooting position. You can see why. Goalkeeper was still scrambling to get back. The Atletico defending look vulnerable again. And he does well just to evade the first challenge. Could have been. Now there has put Real Madrid in front. Crosses here. Oh. And he flung himself at it, carrying Benzema, trying to hook it in at a difficult height. Well, Ronaldo doing really well, but it was up against Lucas Hernandez again. He's had a torrid first spell in the game. Just buys himself that bit of space. That... It's a little clip by Griezmann. And needed just to be shoveled across the face of the goal. He was really on the stretch, Godin. Couldn't control it. Nicely set up. Big, big chance. Great little ball. Marcelo went to sleep. Ramos didn't recover quickly enough. And Kroos. Suddenly Atletico looking a bit weary. And oh, Benzema makes it. Benzema, Ronaldo, it's there to be hits! And when he hits it, you know what happens. A really vital second goal for Cristiano Ronaldo and Real Madrid. Well, Atletico try and make a couple of interceptions. Felipe Luiz goes with his left foot. Just can't quite get there, but once it fell to Ronaldo, you knew he was going to hit the target. And what a second goal it is. He can't believe it. A good ball to start with. Savage can't quite get there. Godin gets knocked to the ground. And he strikes it brilliantly past Oblak. It's four. And Ronaldo on a hat-trick. Change of pace from Lucas Vasquez. Here he is, Cristiano Ronaldo. he do it his second hat-trick this season against Atletico Madrid and after three in the quarter-final here against Bayern it's three in the semi-final against Atletico Madrid who may well be condemned now even with the second leg still to come
Well, again, he finds that bit of space out wide. They win the ball back. They counter-attack. And he sets up Lucas Vasquez. The last chance to get it forward. And there is the final whistle. Real Madrid's night. Cristiano Ronaldo's night. Again, another hat-trick, another landmark. And Diego Godin and uh, his athlete.